Hey, hey, Skywalkers! In this unboxing toy review YouTube special, we will be looking at two new Hasbro Black Series figures. From Solo, a Star Wars story, we have Kira and Lando Calrissian. Welcome everyone! We want to thank Disney for providing us these complimentary figures for review. But as always, all thoughts and opinions are our own. So let's move on to our first figure, and that's going to be Lando Calrissian. Oh. Now, I chose this figure because I love me some Lando, and about time we're getting some Lando love. So let's go ahead and unbox. <gasps> Notice it's not vintage, so I will unbox this figure. <laughs> number 65 in the series and on the back we have a description of Lando from Solo A Star Wars Story. Smooth and sophisticated, Captain Lando Calrissian stands ready to retire from the life of a smuggler and instead become a full-time gambler or sportsman as he calls it, shuffling from card game to card game across the galaxy. We're gonna see some character growth from Lando Calrissian. Mm. Now for the unboxing. Okay. He slides so smoothly. <laughs> Everything about Lando was smoothly. Yeah. Hashtag don't judge. Oh, it's so cute. Wow. Now oh, look a... at this sculpt. This is the first time I've seen him. Yes. Now, Hasbro has been using their photo real paint application, and it really does show because look at the face. There's so much shading to give it that photo realism. Wow. Look at that eyebrow. Yeah, yeah. If, if you're going to do a Lando Calrissian figure, you've got to have the eyebrow. I have a feeling that anyone who cosplays as Lando <laughs> will have that look. Yeah, I think they'll have to be able to do that eyebrow up thing, yeah. which I can't do. Can you do that? I've always been so envious of those who can. I know. Not this guy. No. Now, this photo reel technique makes it so the paint goes where it's supposed to go, because how many figures have I had in the past where you see brush strokes or splotches mm -hmm. because the artist, when they were painting, hand slipped and they didn't, they didn't clean it up afterwards. Yeah. But this, this is just perfect. Yeah, I guess the photo reel process is more of like an inkjet process. Yes. So that's that's why it's it's printed so perfectly. He's wearing his yellow shirt in the Han Solo Western style. His cape comes off. Oh wow! It's a very Look at that. soft. It's a very soft vinyl cape. He's got a soft vinyl removable scarf that when you take it off, sometimes it can be a little hard getting it back into place. So my suggestion, leave it on. <laughs> and like other characters we've reviewed, he's got 16 points of articulation. I love this swivel in the, in the chest. Yeah. <laughs> you would think it would be in the waist, mm -mm. but no, now they move the swivel action portion to the chest. Well, actually, that's interesting because we're going to get to Kira and we're going to talk about that. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Foreshadowing. Yeah. So let me add a comment about this cape. I know on the pop figure we were talking about how we missed the blue mm -hmm. because it was all black and yellow. Well, the inside of this cape is his blue. So it's almost like I wish I could uh, yeah. Turn the cape inside out. It's not reversible. Uh -uh. I, I did try reversing it to get the classic Lando look. Right. But no. One of the greatest features on these characters, on these figures, is the fingers. Now the fingers can wrap around the blaster and the forefinger can go right inside of the trigger mechanism. Wow. So that way the blaster will never fall out of the, out of his hand because it's locked right in there. Now his blaster comes in two parts. There's the muzzle that comes off, but you gotta be careful because when I took it out of the package, I accidentally hit it and it went <gasps> flying. Oh. And then like the Han Solo figure, it fits right inside of this holster. Oh, cool. Now there's a loop and then there's two small hooks which will hold the blaster in place. However, you gotta really work it to make it fit right inside of those loops. And his belt, his holster belt, it's movable, it's not removable. Oh, interesting. Yeah, there's a tiny tack right over here above his butt, <laughs> which keeps the holster securely placed on the Lando figure. So little kids can't lose it. Yes, or adults. <laughs> now, I would say this is an A-plus figure. It has the perfect sculpt. Once again, look at that Donald Glover expression. That is perfect. You know what this expression says? What? 
All right, Han, there's no way you're getting the Millennium Falcon off of me, you slimy double-crossing no good swindler. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Doesn't go down that way. Now, after all the reaction we've seen from his fur cape from the teasers, we know that at some point that's going to be coming. And it'll be made out of real fur. <laughs> Convention exclusive? Hmm? Mail away? Hmm? Mail away. Yeah. Do they ever do that anymore? No. <laughs> no. It's harkening back to the old days of Kenner. All right. Now, Sarah, you've got a figure to review. I do, and it's Kira. So, let's take a look at her beautiful packaging. She is number 66 of the Black Series. And let's check out the back of this box, where it says Kira Corellia. So this is her Corellian outfit. And it says, at 18 years of age, young Kira is already enmeshed in a life of crime, working for a gang on Corellia. Ooh, that's some info I don't think I knew, actually. Spoiler alert. I know. Okay, well, here she is. I guess this is her life of crime outfit. <laughs> here we go. Let's unbox. Our, uh, okay. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Hashtag don't judge. That, that is a really interesting smell. That plastic smell. All right, let's very, take a very, look. Very addicting. Very addicting. <laughs> let's take a look at her. Okay, here she is out of the package. Look at Kira. She's got some great colors here. The black, red, gray. And let's start with her head here. Now. She, did, hair. She, she didn't come with dragons. No, she didn't come with dragons. Where's the dragons? I don't know. It's mother of dra Mother of dragons. What? Wrong character. Wrong character. I'm sorry. Oops. Go ahead. <laughs> well, her hair is molded into place, so there's no playing with it, no brushing it. But I do like the fact that there is actually some different color paint there. So it gives it a bit of a... She's got some uh, highlights. Yeah, she's got highlights. So it's not just like one color blob. It's It's got some depth to it. Mm -hmm. I really like that. Now, like Lando, her face looks so great. Her eyes are in the right place. It's all about that photoreal technique right there. Now let's move down to her jacket where she has a fur collar. Now, it's not actual fur, like on the Range Trooper. It's molded and painted to look like fur. And we also have her jacket. So she's got gray molded arms of the jacket, but the jacket itself on her torso can, is that soft vinyl and can actually be removed if you wanted to, but then she'd look kind of funny because she'd have a red top and gray big giant arms from the jacket. So we don't want to do that. We'll keep her jacket on. Now her red top is tucked into this cool skirt, which is vinyl. And interestingly enough, the skirt is split up the sides to allow for her to go have some running poses or she could do a splits pose. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> if you really wanted to. I'm I hope that's not a spoiler. I know. I'm assuming in the film her skirt won't have those splits up the side, but we won't know until we actually see the film. Her pants, she's wearing like uh, leggings underneath the skirt that go down into these awesome gray molded boots. Now, the detail on this figure is what I really love because not only do we have these interesting fabrics, you have molded and painted jewelry on her wrists. So she's got great bracelets here. You also have some weathering to her skirt and her boots. And also, and this is crazy, if you look really close at her red shirt where it tucks into her skirt, there's actual little molded creasing where her shirt is like <laughs> creased because it's tucked into her skirt. like. That's incredible detail. Yeah, this is almost too photo real. I know. Oh, and now let's talk about the points of articulation. Like most of the Black Series figures, she has 16 points of articulation. Now we are counting the double jointed knees and elbows as one a single point of articulation. I know there's different ways of counting it, mm -hmm. but that's what we're doing. Now Akira is the first Black Series figure that I've seen that moves. She has a ball joint at her actual waist. Look at that. And you know why that is? Why? Because she's short-waisted like me. <laughs> One thing in these points of articulation I've never seen, and I'm sure they've had figures before that has this, I just haven't been exposed to them, is her shoes, at first it looks like her ankles just move front to back, up and down, mm -hmm. but her heels actually can go boop, side ah. to side like a ball joint. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Kind of creepy. <laughs> I thought that was 
so crazy. But you can get more fun and play out of it. <laughs> so who am I to say? I know, and it, it also makes for some great poses. But before we do those poses, let's talk about her blaster, which is a tiny little double-barreled blaster. Now, she does not have a holster for her blaster. So you better keep track of this if you get this figure. What's interesting about this blaster is the barrel on this blaster can actually blip, swivel down, and then she can take some of those bullets from her belt. Oh, the cartridges. Yeah, the cartridges. Oh, nice. Now, they don't, they aren't actually removable from her belt. They're molded on, but I, they're there to show that you can actually take those cartridges and load up her blaster like you would a shotgun back in the, back in the day, back in the Old West. Mm. Oh, yeah, there that. you go. Oh, my goodness. More Old West. So the barrel would actually pop off if Ooh. you if you swivel it too much, or like I just did, if I took it out of the plastic, that little silver barrel popped right off and Ooh. almost fell down. So you better be careful, you better hold on to those pieces, those parts of your Black Series, if you are going to unbox them. Now the one thing that's a little difficult about this figure is that she has heeled boots, which make it hard for her to balance. Her feet aren't that big, in the mm. first place and so if you try to balance she might just keep on falling down unless you maybe taper in place it's kind of like the ahsoka figure i have where her boots her feet are even smaller than kira's and man she she like you have to like taper in place if you want her to stay so overall this kira figure is excellent i recommend adding her to your collection because just once again the detail on these black series figures is just so incredible. Now to wrap this up, just like Kenner used to say back in the vintage era, we really do care. And the same thing could be said for Hasbro. They really do care with their new photo reel technique and the attention to details. Now these Solo products are now on store shelves and Solo Star Wars Story is hitting theaters on May 25th. But we will be back before then with more unboxing and toy review videos. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you liked this video, please give it a like down below. And give it a comment. Are you going to be buying these figures? Let us know. Comment below. Now, if you like this video, please subscribe because then they'll be notified when the new videos are coming out. And now, we just want to give a shout out to Rob Dellinger who supplied this great music bed that you heard all throughout the video. Skywalking through Neverland